Everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Bill and I were in the backyard a few weeks ago and we found a hummingbird nest. We have been following the journey of this mama bird and we have been so excited to tell you the tale and, and we've been trying to film everything so that we can show you exactly when the babies are born and then Unfortunately, our story took a turn um, and it became a very sad and tragic tale. One day, Bill was in the backyard and he saw these birds circling above the nest. All of a sudden, one of them dive bombed down into the nest where the mama was laying on her eggs. He didn't have the camera out so he wasn't able to get it on film, but all of a sudden, he looked over and he saw this bird in the nest. <laughs> Just kidding, it really isn't a tragic tale. It's actually more of a sad tale. So let me start at the beginning, how about that? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little teeny tiny hummingbird mama. She built a nest in our gazebo, up high, out of reach so that she could be safe. Uh, one day we came out and there was one egg in her nest. We have looked into this and apparently hummingbirds lay one egg and then usually one or two days later they lay the second egg. So a couple of days later we came out and we found that a second egg had been laid. We watched the mama bird, she sat on her nest day after day. She actually sat on her eggs almost all day every day for at least two weeks. It was very rare that she was ever away from the nest. It was hard for us even to get a picture of the eggs, but we were able to get some um, shots of the eggs, which was how we knew there were two in there. After about three weeks though, the mama bird started being away from her nest more often. She would be there and then every once in a while we'd look out and she was actually gone and she wouldn't come back for about an hour or so which was very, very different from the first couple of weeks that she was on her nest. We looked into that as well and we learned that that is normal for hummingbirds as well, that when the mama hummingbird has been on her nest for a couple of weeks, by about the third week, she ventures off more often. We actually, as you can see behind me, have these bushes that have tons and tons of new little teeny tiny blooming flowers on them and um, we believe that's probably why she built her nest here because she had a food source so close to her but then the time actually got to be further and further apart where she actually there would be days that it would go by and we would never ever see her on her nest bill set up a camera he put the camera on her nest and we determined that she was not coming back. We have learned that her eggs were not fertile and sometimes they're fertile and sometimes they're not and that the mama bird after a period of time learns that her eggs aren't fertile and that is why sometimes she will abandon her nest. And so that is unfortunately the sad ending to our story is that the mama bird did abandon her nest so we still have an empty nest with two eggs in it and let's go get it down right now. This nest up here has been abandoned now for about a week and a half. We gave the mama bird a long, long time to make sure she wasn't gonna come back. Let's see if I can get this nest down carefully because I wanna be able to show you. I wanna show you how tiny this nest is next to my face. Look how teeny tiny this little nest is. Let's check it out more closely. There it is with its with the two little teeny tiny eggs. They're so tiny. We've been looking forward to seeing new babies and watching them grow and unfortunately that's not gonna happen. Hummingbirds are one of the smallest birds in America and they are the very, very smallest of all bird eggs. So when a hummingbird lays an egg, it's the smallest egg of any bird you will ever find. Also, I learned that the incubation time frame for a baby hummingbird to be born is between 14 and 23 days. What does a cat call a hummingbird? Fast food. Why do hummingbirds hum? Because they don't know the words. Hummingbirds got their name because of their fast beating wings. The speed of their wings makes it sound like a humming sound and that is how they received their name. 
Hummingbirds, actually their wings beat 12 to 80 times per second depending on the size of the hummingbird. The smaller the size, the faster their wings beat, which I thought was very, very interesting. At one point we even got a glimpse of the papa bird outside the window. We were actually inside the house and we were looking out the window and checking on the mama bird and we saw the papa bird come and visit. Bill saw the papa bird come and visit in the yard a few different times but we were actually able to get it on camera one time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you learned something about hummingbirds. Unfortunately, it was a little bit of a sad story and not exactly what we were hoping. We were hoping to be able to show you sweet little hummingbird babies, but it was still pretty cool, cool to get to keep the eggs and have this small nest that now we can take down and look at very carefully. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. You give me the